That is right, you guys. I got Dark Matter Camo in Black Ops 4 Zombies. I know I'm not the first person in the world to ever do this. I know there's multiple people out there who have gone for Dark Matter Camo in Zombies and have gotten it a long time ago. But to be fair, Dark Matter Camo wasn't necessarily a huge focus of mine at first, you know? I mean, of course, I am a multiplayer guy. I always play the multiplayer in every Call of Duty game. So when Black Ops 4 was the current Call of Duty and before, more, before Modern Warfare came out, I would play its multiplayer right and I played blackout here and there but multiplayer was my thing I tried to get the hundred percenter calling card I tried to get to master prestige I tried to get dark matter in multiplayer you know and of course I'd play zombies on the side I do the Easter egg quest I'd level up and along the way I would just unlock camos for my guns and I would basically just say to myself I'm like you know what dark matter camo and zombies isn't necessarily a huge focus on mine but if I get it then I get it and now here I am today when modern warfare is already out and I went back and played black ops for because I only had two weapons left. I had two assault rifles left to actually get gold in order to unlock dark matter camo in zombies. And the reason why I've kind of been going back to playing Black Ops 4 is because I don't really have any friends that play Modern Warfare and the ones that are online, they play Black Ops 4. So I go ahead and hop back on Black Ops 4 and we play with each other and we play multiplayer with each other. We don't necessarily play zombies. Um, but since I was already playing Black Ops 4, you know, I'm like, you know what? I only have two assault rifles left in zombies to actually get dark matter camo I'm just gonna play two really long matches of zombies and just unlock gold camo on these guns because all I needed was like a little over a thousand kills with both the weapons with like six or five attachments on them whatever that challenge was and that was it I already completed all the other camo challenges for those weapons so I'm like okay all I need is just easy kills you know I'll just have to go like high round or something and only use that gun sure enough I played two games and they're both on ancient evil because I love that map and and sure enough, I got myself Dark Matter Camo in Zombies. And to be fair, Dark Matter Camo in Zombies is harder than it is a multiplayer. Multiplayer felt pretty dang easy. And I guess getting Dark Matter in Zombies, it's not necessarily a hard thing. It's more of a just a time consuming thing. It takes a very long time to actually get Dark Matter in this game which is crazy to me and it, like there's a couple weapons that kind of made it very uh I guess difficult I, I don't know really know how else to say it like the welling pistol which is like one of the starting pistols you could have an absolute crappy gun like seriously this is like one of the worst guns you could ever use in black ops 4 zombies and you have to get 2400 headshots with this pistol it's absurd same with the sx model except i think the sx model was like 4800 headshots something like that it was it's insane like the amount of headshots you need with these weapons is completely absurd and that's not it of course there's like these technical camo challenges you have to complete like get 10 mini boss kills kill 50 heavy zombies and then get a thousand or two thousand kills with like a weapon with attachments then you need two thousand more kills with weapon with all attachments on it or something like that you know it's just holy crap it's hard it was i mean time consuming i mean it's not necessarily getting like the certain amount of kills you need is what makes it hard it's just like it just takes a long time it's seriously you cannot get gold camo on a gun and just playing like five matches right i highly doubt someone has ever done that that would be ridiculously hard not to mention box weapons right you have to get box weapons gold as well and of course you can only get them out of the box so like i remember the ramparts so that assault rifle was the last box weapon i needed gold and i focused on those first because later uh, throughout black ops 4's life cycle they actually made it easier for you to actually get done with the box weapons for gold camo they kind of cut the headshots in half like those challenges it, it was completely absurd so thank god they made the box weapons a little bit easier but still you could only get them out of the box and the rampart i remember i would just hit the box constantly because i needed the rampart it was the last box weapon i needed gold i just always hit the box trying to get the rampart out of it and i never get the rampart out of the box so it was like oh my goodness and yeah it was a process it's not hard it's just very 
very time consuming. My time days played in zombies was 15 days. 15 days of in-game time it took me to actually get all the gold weapons, get dark matter. Of course, this doesn't count the DLC black market weapons, right? Only the base weapons that came with the game. And yeah, it's holy crap. It took me 15 in game time, 15 days of game time to actually get it. Oh my gosh, completely insane. But if I'm being completely honest with you, I actually kind of liked the way these challenges worked. I'm glad it took a long time for me to complete because it shows that it's since it takes such a long time to actually be able to earn, it really shows like the kind of the, that's the kind of the challenge behind it. And it's a, definitely a bigger challenge than what we saw with Black Ops 3 zombies. And to be honest with you, Black Ops 3 Zombies, I didn't like the camo challenges in that game. I mean, yes, we had a specific zombie camo challenges, right? But there was no mastery camo you got for completing the camo challenges in Zombies for Black Ops 3. You didn't get anything. You could, If you got Dark Matter camo in Black Ops 3's multiplayer, you could apply that Dark Matter camo on your weapons in Zombies, and you could see it in-game for Zombies, which I thought that was cool. But there wasn't, like, a mastery camo like dark matter and the multiplayer like there was in zombies in that game and the the camo challenges for zombies were just so easy i have all the camos unlocked for all the weapons in black ops 3 it didn't take me that long it felt like and they were just too easy but here in this game they're not that easy and the reward you get is in fact dark matter camo the thing i don't like though is that you the gold diamond and dark matter you get in zombies is the ex exact same you see in multiplayer and i don't like that i really wish they would have changed the way dark matter looked in blackout and zombies because of course they weren't there at first when the game first came out i wish they would have made dark matter look different for example so like you could like if, let's if you get dark matter in multiplayer right for black ops 4 i would it would be cool if you could apply that to your weapons and zombies so that way when you play zombies with your friends you could show off that you got dark matter in multiplayer right but what if you did the same thing in multiplayer right let's say the dark matter camo in zombies is actually a green colored instead of a reddish black color it's the same type of camo except it's a different color like green for example and you had that gun uh, you applied that d green dark matter camo on your weapons in multiplayer people would notice that you have green dark matter camo and they're like wow that guy grinded the hell out of zombies to get that camo and i think that would be so cool because in zombies you can't really show off your camouflages i mean multiplayer it's easy to show off your camouflages but in zombies you can't really do that i mean it's good for a personal perspective because you can see your own guns but other people can't and i really like that system in black ops 3 zombies where you could apply multiplayer camos to your weapons in zombies that way you could show off like your dark matter camo you got i wish it was the same way here in black ops 4 and that was a huge missed opportunity they had in changing the different colors of dark matter in blackout and in zombies and that thing i feel like that would have totally like made things a lot better in this game to be completely honest with you but nonetheless i am happy that there is a mastery camo you can unlock in zombies even if it is the exact same camo you earn in multiplayer or in blackout so nonetheless I do like Dark Matter camo, actually, in Black Ops 4. I know a lot of people gave it crap, but it's kind of funny how people gave Dark Matter camo crap in Black Ops 4 when we've had, like, Chrome camo and Damascus camo in Modern Warfare right now. So, anyway, yeah, I like Dark Matter camo. I'm glad I got that over with. I can now focus on 100%er for zombies. It's not something I'm really going to be focusing off and being completely honest with you, but if I ever do play zombies again, then I will focus on that because I am probably going to go back and play some Modern Warfare and start getting done with my officer ring challenges so anyway that's it for the video guys i just want to let you know that i got dark matter camo and zombies and it's a huge grind it was no easy task trying to get like the excess model and the welling pistol like gold those are probably the two hardest weapons to get gold it was oh god it was a grind let me tell you it was probably the biggest grind i've ever done in a call of duty game but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy this video and of course subscribe to the channel for more call of duty videos in the future and i shall catch you guys Later.